Hello my dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel as Concepts of Chemistry. Before starting today's lecture, please do subscribe my channel. My dear students, today we are going to talk about the topic Degenerate Orbitals. In the previous lecture, we have learnt about the shapes of the orbitals. As the, all the orbitals within the same subshell have the different directional preferences. So today we are talking about the Degenerate Orbitals. Now the orbitals which have equal energies within the same subshell in the absence of any magnetic field are called degenerate orbitals. We know that all the orbitals within the same subshell will have the different space orientations like Px, Py, Pz, they all were having the different orientations. For example, the Px, the dumbbell of the Px I have made that on the x-axis, the dumbbell of Py I have made that on the y-axis, the dumbbell of Pz I have made that on the z-axis. So, they all have different space orientations, but they all will have the equal energies, but within the same subshell. The orbitals within the same subshell I am talking about. Hence, they are degenerate. So, let me write this thing. I am writing the orbitals which have equal energies within the same subshell in absence of magnetic field are called D generate orbitals now I'm writing we know that orbitals of same subshell will have different directional orientations will have different directional orientations for example i have talked about the three orbitals of p subshell that is px py pz the dumbbell of px was on the x axis the dumbbell of py was on the y axis and the dumbbell of pz was on the z axis so all these three orbitals have the different directional orientations but they have equal energies but they all have equal energies hence they are degenerate hence they are degenerate because their energies are equal that's why they are degenerate so now let's talk about all these subshells one by one. I'm talking about firstly the S subshell. S subshell. Now, now we know that S subshell have only one orbital. S subshell has only one orbital that's again s orbital this way it is non d generate now let's talk about p subshell p 
in p sub shell we have three orbitals and they are the p x p y and the p z now energies of all these three are equal energies of all three are equal that is energy of px is equal to that of energy of py is equal to that of the energy of pz hence these three are degenerate orbitals hence these three are degenerate orbitals because of equal energies now let's talk about d sub shell now i'm talking about d sub shell in d sub shell we have five orbitals and they are d x y d y z d z square d x square minus y square and d x z these are the five orbitals of d sub shell now the thing is energy of all these five orbitals are equal to each other hence it signifies that these five orbitals are degenerate orbitals because they have equal energies Now let's talk about the F sub shell. Now let's talk about F sub shell. In F sub shell, we have seven orbitals. and the uh, seven orbitals are the directional preferences of these seven orbitals are let me write the the first orbital is fx into x square minus y square the second orbital is f y into x square minus y square the third one is f z x square minus y square the fourth one is f x y and z the fifth one is f z cube the sixth one is f x z square and the last one the seventh one is f y z square now the point is again the energy of all these seven orbitals are equal to each other hence they all are degenerate orbitals these seven are so these seven are degenerate orbitals that is having equal energies within the same subshell so one important point to remember that degenerate orbitals are only present within the subshell like like we have talked about the f subshell so the orbital of 
so these all seven orbitals have equal energies but none of them have equal energy to the another subshells like like the energy of any f orbital is not equal to the energy of any d orbital thus i'm trying to say that degenerate orbitals are always present within the same subshell only so like px py pz are the orbital of p subshell hence they are degenerate dx y y z z square dx square minus y square and dx z these all five are the orbitals of d subshell hence they are degenerate and the last one uh, f x f x x square minus y square f y x square minus y square f z x square minus y square f x x f x y z f z cube f x z square f y z square these seven orbitals are orbitals of f subshell only that's why they are degenerate so that's all for today i hope you got the meaning of degenerate orbitals that is the orbitals within the same subshell which have equal energies are called degenerate orbitals they have difference in their space orientations only but they have equal energies and hence they are degenerate so that's all for today i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed